Welcome to my lecture online. Again, with this JE main question, the visualization of the question is the most challenging part of it. Once you can visualize it, it's a relatively easy problem to solve. So let's read it and see why it's so difficult to visualize it. It says that we have an electric field in the region given by 3 fifths E in the I direction and 4 fifths E in the J direction. Of course, I and J are the X and Y unit vectors. The ratio of flux of reported field through the rectangular surface of area 0.2 meters squared parallel to the YZ plane to that of the surface of area 0.3 meters squared parallel to the XZ plane is A to 2 where A is. So we're looking for this ratio of the amount of flux going through the first area and the amount of flux going through the second area. But visualizing what that looks like is the challenge. So let's try to draw what it might look like. We're going to draw the x, y, z axis in three dimensions. So the best way to do that is like this. So this becomes the x axis, this becomes the y axis, and this becomes the z axis. Now let's draw that electric field. Well, it looks like it's in the x, y plane, because it only has an x and a y component. So it's 3 fifths e in the i direction, 4 fifths e in the j direction. So let's do it like this, 1, 2, 3, 1, two, three, four. So we go like this and we go like this. And so this would be the vector. So that would be the E vector, which is equal to three fifths E sub naught in the I direction plus four fifths E sub naught in the J direction, which means we're going to, and let me try to use a different color here. So we're going to have an X component like this. So we have the X component e sub x and we have the y component like this let's call that e sub y so what do those two areas look like well the first area is parallel to the y z plane so that's that plane right there so let's draw an area in that direction so here that's what that area would look like um, so i'm trying to do this in the y z plane and notice that the only component of the electric field that goes through that plane, and notice that this one is 0.2 meters squared, the only component is the x component of the electric field that goes through that plane. So we can then say that the flux, the electric flux going through, and I'll call it sub 1 for the x y plane, so this is the first plane, that's going to be equal to the electric field strength times the area, so in this case I would be equal to 3 fifths E sub naught times 0 0.2 square meters, so this would be equal to 0.6 over 5 E sub naught. Now the second plane is 0.3 square meters and it's parallel to the XZ plane, so that would be in this direction right here, so that would be this plane right here like that, so it's in the XZ plane, so it'll be the XZ plane, like this. This is area number two, and it's 0 0.3 meters squared, and notice that the only component that goes to that plane is the Y component of the electric field. So that means that the flux E2 is going to be equal to electric field times A. In this case, the electric field of the Y component is 4 fifths E sub naught, we multiply times the area, which is 0 0.3 square meters, so this is equal to 1.2 over 5 E sub naught. And so now we want to have the uh, ratios, and we're going to set that to A to 2, A over 2. So A over 2 is equal to the flux to the first divided by the flux to the second, so in this case that would be 0 0.6 over 5 E sub naught divided by uh, not zero, but 1.2, 1.2 over 5 E sub naught, and you can clearly see that's a ratio of 1 to 2, and so therefore A over 2 equals 1 over 2, so therefore A equals 1. See, it's not a difficult problem if you can visualize the way it looks, and so since it's in three dimensions, you have to measure what the the uh, XZ plane looks like, what the YZ plane looks like, and see which component will actually go perpendicular to each of those two surfaces, and that is how it's done. I think you can do this one in three minutes. What do you think?
Ha <laughs> ha.